back pain, similar to many other pain conditions that persist and continue to be ongoing, that we call them commonly as chronic pain, have these uh, strange properties in a sense that the, that pain can increase up and down in time unpredictably and in that sense it has no survival value. I've talked about the survival value of acute pain in the past. Again, I just want to remind you that when pain becomes persistent and ongoing, its utility for survival is dramatically decreased, which is why people suffer with it. In this slide, I'm showing you um, the fluctuations of back pain in subjects who have back pain for many months. Each color line is a different subject. Okay, so there are 11 people here and we, each, each person has been rating their pain twice a day over 150 days. So if you look at, for example, at the subject which is uh, shown in light blue, the pain is, starts around one. One is their initial pain, right? They start at their baseline pain level. And over the first 50 to 60 days, it slowly decreases. And then for some reason or another, it goes way up to around level of two and keeps continuing fluctuating, but going up in time, right? So that's that one subject. Uh, one of the, the orange people look like they're fluctuating about the same level of pain. Although again, for a week or so, the pain goes up and another week it goes down again. A third week, it, it, would, it would be going up, et cetera, looking like his wild fluctuations. Um, the dark blue subject, for example, uh, that's the one at the, at the bottom of the graph. Uh, the pain very rapidly goes down, completely down to zero. But then again, every week or every two weeks, it jumps back up, goes back down to zero again. So it has these, what we would call flare-ups that come and go at unpredictable times. Now, whether they are predictable or not would be something that, again, AVO is very interested in. And we would be, those are the kinds of things that we would have to track and improve on um, and make, make the pain better. Now, the important part of tracking pain continuously over many, many weeks is exactly the fact that pain continuously fluctuates. In, in the standard clinical setting, uh, the, you or the su a person suffering with pain goes and sees the doctor, says, oh, I have pain. And the doctor says, how much is your pain? How much, how was, how much was your pain? Take these medications and come back to me in six months and tell me how much your pain is. And obviously, in between those things, all of these events that we are seeing here are being ignored and not taken care of. Now, why continuously tracking the, the pain in AVO and relating it with all these other events that we are tracking in, for any given subject, we now start establishing actual links between parameters that are influencing these, these events. And so we have a much better uh, idea of what, for example, very simply what to avoid and or what to approach that would simply di diminish these fluctuations. Um, and th so that's the whole philosophy of AVO.